Hi, I'm Ben Hanawalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today I want to talk about how to program a quick step tightening on the PowerFocus 6000 controller. So let's take a look down in the software. So at the top left corner, we're going to see the tightening tab. We're going to click into there, and we're going to see at the top left corner, we also have an option for tightening program library as well as multi-step program library. Now where we want to program a quick step is going to be in the tightening program library, and you can see that my library is empty. So starting from scratch, I want to create a new tightening program. So I'm going to go up to the top right corner, click the plus button, and that's going to allow us to add a new tightening program. Now for this example, we're going to go over how to create a quick step. So what I'm going to do is go into my name, and I'm going to give us a 10 newton meter quick step. So now that I've named the tightening program, what we're going to do is actually go down to our strategy, click into it, and then change it over to a quick step tightening. Now we also have the option in here to program our uh, target torque. We said it was going to be 10 newton meters. And then down in the tightening parameters, that's really where we're going to go into to check on why we have these red exclamation marks. What you'll see is, is if I click on this red exclamation mark, it'll actually tell us why we have an issue with the tightening program. So you can see that our first torque is going to be greater than or equal to our target torque. So we've clearly got some issues we need to adjust in the parameters for the tightening program. So we're going to go down to the tightening parameters tab, click on edit. And you can see that a quick step rundown is broken up into four different stages. We have the start stage, we have the rundown stage, we have the tightening stage, and we have the stop stage. So from left to right, from beginning to end, let's go through the start stage first. We have a couple options in here, tightening direction, using a soft start, re-hit detection, and true angle compensation. Now the standard for this example, I'm going to leave everything set the way it is. I do want re-hit detection on. I want to use a soft start. Um, and we're not doing any reverse threaded fasteners. So let's click into the rundown stage. That's going to be step two. So you can see in here we have a, quite a few more options. Now Keep in mind that the manual, the actual PowerFocus 6000 manual, is going to detail in, in much greater detail uh, what each of these individual steps are. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to hit on the, uh, the major uh, points that we need to take a look at. And, and the first one is going to be rundown speed. Now by default, it's going to be set to max. So I'm actually going to set that to manual. And I'm going to change the rundown speed to maybe 400 RPMs. Um, we also have the ability to set our rundown torque limits, uh, rundown angle limits, as well as post view torque limits. And then the last uh, section in here is going to be our rundown complete. Now our rundown complete torque is going to be at this point we're moving on from stage 2 into stage 3. So at 5 newton meters we're going to be transitioning from step 2 to step 3. So clicking into step 3, we can see we again have um, some red exclamation marks indicating that there's an issue with the tightening program. Um, what we can do is check our tightening parameters in quick step. Um, there's no pause time to program like on a two-step rundown. Um, but what we're going to look at is our first step. Clearly, uh, the first torque is going to be set to 20 newton meters by default. That's not going to work for a uh, 10 newton meter rundown. So we're going to want to make this something in between the rundown and the final torque. So let's go to 5.5 newton meters and hit enter. So you notice that the issues go away on the screen and at this point we have a valid tightening program. Now if I scroll down a little bit, I can check my speeds. I can also check into my final target and check my um, torque limits as well as my speed and turn on angle limits if we wanted to use angle limits. So I can come in here, turn on my angle limits, let's set up some nice generic numbers so that we don't um, fail for an angle right off the bat. And then scrolling down we can change our result evaluation, but the standards are going to be what I always recommend, uh, measure torque at max torque value and measure angle to max angle value. Um, also if you wanted to use any current monitoring or torque compensation, this is where you could turn those on as well. 
Now, the final step, there's only one option in the fourth or stop stage, and that's gonna be our soft stop. I always use soft stop. It's gonna be a more ergonomically friendly uh, solution for the end of the tightening. So let's turn that on. And at this point, we've created a, a good valid tightening program. So let's give it a run and see how it feels. So let's back off our test joint and then give it a rundown. So you can see we got a failure and let's see what it's for. So you can see that our final step torque was above max. So let's go back into the program and fix this. So if we're overshooting our final target, this is actually a pretty hard test joint. What we're actually going to want to do is probably adjust our speed. So I'm going to go into my rundown speed and I'm going to take this down from 400 down to 350 and then hit enter. So at this point, um, we've slowed down the rundown speed and let's see if it makes a difference in our tightening result. So let's loosen up our test joint, give it a rundown. So now you can see we got an okay tightening. We're still a little bit high on that torque, so we could do further adjustments if we wanted to. Um, but what I want to point out is that this is for a quick step tightening. If I was to come back in here and actually transition this from a quick step to let's say a two step where we wanted to uh, have a, a designated pause in that fastening, um, possibly for joint conditioning or allowing some relaxation, I can come into step three, go to the strategy, and click in, and I can actually change this over to two-step right here. Um, and that's actually going to be the only difference between a two-step and a quick-step is going to be this programmable pause time um, on the PowerFocus 6000 system. So now that I've changed it over to a two-step, let's take a look at the rundown. And you can see we also got a good result at 10.26. So in this situation, based on this joint, switching from a quick step over to a two-step tightening was actually a more optimal tightening program for this specific fastening joint. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, keep in mind, this was actually just a video on how to do a quick step or a two-step tightening. We have a lot of other strategies on the PowerFocus 6000 platform. So stay tuned for some additional videos where we go over how to program some of these additional strategies that we have. And if you do want any more information, please feel free to contact your Atlas Copco representative and we can get you that.